Right then, another Tureg video. So now everybody watched the Rothwell video and saw that this was out there and it was doing pretty good really. So we had, we've had this one for a while, or at least Steph has, and Scott's finally bought it, so now he's driving it like he owns it, which means he's trying to destroy it at every opportunity. So we're going to do some preventative modifications to try and make sure that it can keep going for a bit longer and he actually gets his money's worth. So this one, it's a pretty early one, but this is a V6. The later spec ones, 08 onwards, the sort of run out models, they're the ones to have, because they're the best at everything. But this one, it'll be pretty cheap, it'll do what Scott needs it to do. We've put the old tyres from my Tureg on there, and then they're pretty good. Whether we go something bigger or not, I think I might end up letting Scott have them big, horrible muddies off mine, and I'll put something that actually drives nice on the road on mine. But we'll see, we'll do a bit of swapping and changing. But we're getting ready for winter before the price of these will just go crazy again when everybody wants a nice car for driving about in the snow. So, this has just got a tune and the tyres at the minute. I think the next job to make it better off-road is going to be a lift kit. Obviously, we've only got a two-inch lift on the V10. I think this would look funny if we put something a bit more like a three or four-inch kit or something stupid like that. So, we'll see if we can come up with all that and uh, go from there but a few other things that we might want to do at some point might want to chop the bumper and do a similar thing to what we did on the v10 not sure if we're going to put a winch on and all that stuff because if this comes out i'll probably be there and we'll pull each other out if we need to so we'll see because i just don't like how we're towing off these all the time these are not really designed for snatching recoveries and stuff but anyway it's been a good vehicle so far few mods to do to it definitely get the tow bar off and stuff like that but the first job that's going to probably happen this week is going to be the snorkel kit so this is literally an identical snorkel to what is on the v10 but there's only one of them so same air filter and everything which i would like something a bit bigger but this does the job works exactly as intended so we'll see how we get on with that one and there's a couple of little oil leaks it definitely wants cleaning and uh, a few bits of service and stuff like that so we'll get that sorted but i'm not going to be here when that gets done so we'll record it and hopefully i'm here when it's finished and we can uh, we can do something but i really do want to get the lift kit on this and just see how stupid it looks so we shall see and we'll uh, we'll see how much i think this has not got the rear diff lock so obviously there's going to be some times where this is not as capable as a v10 but I see no reason why with the power it's got and the torque, if we have a little play with the tunes, it, when it gets really bogged down, the gearbox is pulling a bit of torque back. I think if we can play with the tune, it's not going to really be any worse than the V10. So, we'll see. We'll go from there. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog, let's get right into it.
So, the snorkel's on. Hopefully you liked Owen's introduction as well. Um, it should have been on time lapse and it weren't, so that's funny. So we've ended up having to change this bit on the V6 because the stuff from the 2.5 and the uh, 5 litres doesn't fit. So we changed that bit, but that makes no difference really. So the links will be to all the snorkels that we do, will be in the description. So I've not even heard this one, and for some reason the brand new battery's dead. So Harry's having to jump start it. Well, let's have a listen to see what it sounds like. Can't see nothing. But yeah, it's equal just driving it here now, it's equally as annoying as when it's on the V10, but, but you definitely need a snorkel if you're going to drive it like Scott drives it, because it's the V10 did the same thing when Scott were driving it, where it smashes the airbox and, uh, and the air foot were absolutely wet through, so yeah, definitely needed. So this is coming to the workshop now to get the winter tyres on, so it's going to be, as you can see, snowing pretty soon. We want to do the body lift next, but we shall see. Just got the old bits, I didn't think we'd got them. But that's what happened to it when it sucked some water up and the air filter were absolutely filthy as well. It had been uh, all at the bottom, all sat with water on it. But I don't know if I can get to it. Yeah, see. Yeah, so it had been full of water at some point, which is not ideal. So, all that's going in the bin. This is the part you have to chop off so you can relocate using this little piece and a bit of hose. It's not ideal, but it works. So that's all going in the bin. And then this is the engine cover, which will go back on at some point, but you've got to trim the side off to get it to fit with the snorkel kit, which will not bother some people. Some people will not be happy about it. So yeah. We'll get the winter tyres on this, it's getting the Yokohama Geo 15s which we've talked about before. These are for when the snow comes on the cheap Porsche wheels. So yeah, I'm not sure how much further this video is going to go because the lift kit is not ready yet. Um, it's not the exact same kit as what we've got on the, the V10 because of the coil spring, so we shall see.